Yeah, good evening YouTube. So this was the switch I pulled out of my bandsaw and it seemed to have uh, welded contacts. They were welded in the on position so I thought I would pull that apart and see what it looks like inside. So let's take a look. Yeah, it looks like the inside is pretty clean. That just seems like the the grease that was probably originally put in there and it looks like the contacts are just welded together. They're stuck down, they don't want to spring back, so maybe I'll try to uh, pop those apart if I can. Yeah, oh, okay, so that side is just a loose pivot, so the, the arm in the middle actually doesn't attach to anything. This just touches that metal, and then the contact, if you can see that, is over here. Hard to get the light in there. You can see down there is the contact and that was indeed welded together. I had to pop it apart. No real sign of corrosion. It just basically burned up the contacts. There looks like there's a little bit of shine. You can see right in there I could wipe off a little bit of uh, some sort of uh, liquid. So I don't know if that's some of the oil from the coolant or what but yeah there's the uh, yeah you can see that contact is definitely toasty. <laughs> yeah, so this thing just pivots in there. Two little tabs right there, <clears throat> and then it uh, two little legs on each side, and I guess that kind of sits in there like a little teeter-totter. So I bet if I put that back together, now that it's not welded, it might actually work, at least to see what the action is like again. Yeah, so these switches, I never really looked inside, but I always thought there was like a spring or something, but this uh, center part pivots here. It's got a flat pivot section in the middle. It's not a point pivot. So if you go along here, you can see the shiny part where the switch used to move, and you get that over-center action once you go past this outside pivot it drops off and once you go past the this pivot over here it's stuck down so that's how you get that snap action you look at the bottom of the switch here it's just a a ball right there and I guess the waterproof ones have a seal around that ball I guess there is a, a little bit of a spring load in there on that rod and then that just rubs across this uh, switch plate and that's how you get the switch action so I'll I'll cut in a couple of close-ups of the contact my theory was water was getting in here and causing this I don't see any signs of any water in there but it might only be just enough, a little tiny bit, to get in there and cause some uh, dirt to build up there. So I've now got an oil and water proof switch, so we'll see how that lasts. Could just be that these switches are disposable wear items too, because these switches, every single cut you make with the saw, you turn the switch on, and then the switch is opened, shutting off the motor at the end of the cut. So yeah, that's a worn out switch, but yeah, I've never torn one apart to see how one of those works. So yeah, they're pretty simple. You just have this uh, kind of a pivot, little, uh, there's your toggle, there's a little ball that fits up in there, and then there's just a little spring-loaded pin on there. It's all an over center type of lever there. So, yeah, that's a pretty clever little design. So anyway, I wanted to know what was in there and if you found that interesting, give the video a thumbs up. Yeah, if you have any comments or questions, put that in the comments section below. Share the video with your friends and as always, thanks for watching.